I've been trying my best for a while Trying to please everyone who's around me I've been putting on my fake smile Even though I'm wasting time I don't want to be trapped in a box Trying to be like the rest when I'm not I just want to go my own way Gonna let the past burn down So it feels like literally forever that I have vlogged I thought today I would pull out the vlog camera because Casa de Sheda house projects are commencing once again. You know, I love taking you along for any time I do these things around the house. We kind of took a pause when like COVID first started. There was a lot going on. Um, Mike actually lost his job and thankfully months later he was able to get another job. So with everything going on, we weren't doing any type of updates or anything to the house. But now we started back up and we're first actually gonna be starting off with our laundry room. We've been in the house, I wanna say a year and a half at this point and it's been one of the projects that like had to be done but we keep putting it off so I'm excited to share that with you guys I'm heading over to Lowe's now so to look at some butcher block fingers crossed that the one that I think I like they have available and that it looks good this way I don't have to like wait for anything to be delivered because I would love to get I want to say everything finished ordered and done within the next two weeks because we are also going to get started on our basement finally finishing that off this way the girls can have like a nice play area we'll have like a sofa and a couch a little hangout space down there so that'll of course be for another vlog and many more vlogs because that one's going to take a lot longer that house project so for today i just thought i would take you along and see how much of the laundry room we can actually get done so a little bit of like day in the life come along with me get started on a new house project so don't wanna be stuck in more conversations with you with you i'm gone Let me just turn my radio off. <laughs> um, I was able to find the butcher block. It works great. It looks great. So Mike's just going to come by later in his pickup truck so that he can pick that up and bring it on back. They're able to cut it for us and everything because we measured our um, countertop. I want to use it as like to go on top of the washer dryer. And then we actually have enough to also do floating shelves. So I'm so excited between I want to put up some cabinets. Everything we found at Lowe's, it was actually a really great deal. They had like a discount going on right now. So we were able to save some money which is always a bonus I went with some cabinets that they had there that are already like a pretty affordable price and then there was 10% off on top of that I actually went to the bakery too so I picked up some fresh French bread we're gonna go home make some quick lunch for the girls and ourselves some tuna sandwiches and then we're gonna get started on the laundry room project I also have some orders that came in from Amazon so I thought I would throw in an Amazon haul in this vlog if I listen to my heart, I'm gonna leave it all behind. Find myself, I'm gonna start over new. Yeah, I'm on my way now. Them. Say hi to mama. 
Say hi, everybody. She's eating her little puffs. She's eating her little puffs right now. Um, I'm about to go bring in the boxes and a couple of the items that I want to show you guys. That's why I can do the Amazon haul. And then we're going to continue on doing little things in the laundry room. So throughout this vlog, I'll just be inserting little clips for you guys to see as we go today. See how much we actually get done in there. Since you guys know, little projects even end up turning into big projects. And they take a lot longer. Especially because we have to take a lot of breaks with these little chickadees. I'll show you what I got from Amazon. Okay, so I decided to take some of the Amazon items just out of the box because a couple of them were like multiples and it just would take too long unboxing everything. So I got a couple of items for the laundry room. I already knew like the vision that I was going for, the whole vibe for the space. So I knew a couple of things that I needed to pick up to do like more organization. Since it's not, you guys see the biggest laundry room, I really need to utilize a lot of my organization skills to get everything that I need in there while still being able to have more space and storage for other things so the first were actually these little half gallon jugs i thought these would be perfect i did a two pack um to be able to store liquid bleach as well as my liquid fabric softener so i went with the black lids because surprise surprise i'm not going with gold details this time i'm actually going to go with black so i thought these are perfect they have a little handle and since we plan on doing floating shells i thought this would be great to go right on top and easy access like to grab and i am of course going to be labeling all this i'll take you guys along and do like a separate video on of course the makeover once it's totally done and doing like a before and after and then i'm also going to a separate like laundry room organization i felt that could be helpful for a lot of you excuse me let's talk in the back capri might start making some noises right here um then the next thing that i picked up were actually these containers you guys know i love to use these actually in my pantry i'm not sure if you could see it here but right let me bring the camera closer but right here in my pantry you know when i did this whole organization of this small space i use these jars for grains and then rice in there <laughs> so that worked out really great in storing things i absolutely love those so i got these off amazon to store like my um what are they called my, to store my unstoppables this way i could have it there with a scoop and then i did two of these as well because i'm still trying to think maybe i'll do like my dryer balls and things like that on here this way just kind of thinking of things that are going to look nice but also be really functional so i can like leave it on the countertop on the floating shelves and then this little guy isn't amazon but i thought i'd also show it to you this is actually walmart and these these little laundry containers i got this small size that i'm actually going to have the lint inside of it because we all know when we're cleaning out after loads it's great to have something handy right there and then i got the larger one that i'm going to be using to store mismatched socks i'm going to keep it for a week and then if i don't happen to find a pair for it then i toss those in the garbage and it means the other sock disappeared and the next thing that i picked up actually is my second one of this because the first one that arrived unfortunately came and one of the middle ones was totally shattered i was really sad but this one came really quick a replacement which was great and this i plan on putting right back here like on top of my countertop so that when we're cooking it's just easy access they have the little base nice and lightweight you take the cover off and then i can put like salt pepper any type of spice and kind of marinate whatever i'm cooking i plan on using my cricut maker to add labels to these as well so we can know exactly what's inside so that was that guy and then the last thing that i picked up was actually the hardware which you guys hardware gets really expensive if you see the ones back there on my kitchen they're like that champagne bronze and i want to say they were probably like 15 dollars a piece so not cheap but definitely amazing quality heavy duty these because they're for a laundry room i definitely didn't want to spend a ton of money and i definitely wanted matte black so look how pretty these are i love that they're like modern because they're just going to go like the whole vibe i have going in there like natural tones to add some warmth but then matte black to add like a modern type of feel these are really lightweight so that's great and I want to say for the five pack, because that's a, I need only four of them for this laundry room, but for a set of five is what it comes in. I want to say it was like $12 or less. So you seriously can't beat the price. It came just in like this, it's like little box here. So that's going to be really great. We'll see how easy they are to put up because that'll, um, 
that usually where you see like the price difference, the harder it is to put up usually things that are a little less quality, but I'm hoping it works out for us. But that's it for my little Amazon haul. So I would throw that in here for you guys since I had a couple of these items just come in yesterday and I wanted to save it for today's hey. vlog. So yeah, that was everything. Now I'm gonna get finishing loading the dishwasher so I could get that running. I know I have to be somewhere else to be able to find myself. Shouldn't be so complicated. If I listen to my heart, I'm gonna leave it all behind. Find myself, I'm gonna start over new. Yeah, I'm on my way now. nail polish yeah. yeah i also want to show you guys what my laundry room sign looks like because it'll help you kind of know the inspiration that i'm going for i found this sign i was hunting home goods i want to say for at least like two years for the perfect laundry room sign and i found it last year look how beautiful i'll go a little closer so you guys can see it but i love that it has like this soft light wood detail and then the white is kind of like engraved into this whole sign it's very heavy duty and strong you could hang it if you want to but instead of hanging it i think i'm gonna have mike just add like a little like hole back here and kind of wall mount it so it looks more flush but this whole idea i knew i wanted to go for like this more color scheme so we're doing the white cabinets the butcher block of course is going to bring in this pretty like wood color and then i was just playing around the only thing was either going with once again gold hardware or matte black but I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do something a little bit different. I always go with stuff that's the same. So we're going to do matte black this time. And I'm excited to see how it turns out. I hope that I love it and I don't regret this decision. But even if I do, Mike brought up a good point. Like, it's literally four cabinets that we're going to have in there. But yeah, I feel like even if we um, end up not liking the matte black, the only details that I'm going to have in there to bring in that color are going to be the hardware, which it's four little cabinet poles that I just would change out to gold. And then some of the canisters. I'm looking for ones that have like a matte black lid. I just want to do like two more of those to tie everything together. And then I feel like I'll have enough jars and canisters to put all the organization things that I need that I actually use in there. Um, but that's about it. And maybe like if I get a rug or something. So really simple details that I could always change out and aren't going to cost a ton. So fingers crossed I like it and it's something a little bit differently because we're actually going to get started on our basement project like I said soon I'm hoping like early next year that'll be complete so in there too I'm doing like lots of wood and modern style and I'll decide if I want to do black and gold in there the laundry room is kind of going to be like the tester to see what direction I end up like swaying towards for the basement all right I'm just actually currently looking up some cards to do with my little 
Joy do for my sister-in-law. It's actually her birthday tonight. And I'm looking for things like they have like these cutout cards because we want to surprise her and ask her to be Capri's godmother. So I thought it'd be nice if I made her like a personalized card like that. But I'm seeing if there's any of these that already have like a template that I can just kind of like customize instead of it saying, let's say this flower and then it's just for mom. And I could just change the wording to like, will you be my godmother? Like something like that. I thought it'd be cool. chickadee changed we're gonna head out it's about 6 30 now to my sister-in-law's house to celebrate a little cake and some dinner there with our in-laws so i will talk to you guys all in my next one i hope to be vlogging a lot more in the new year um and in the coming weeks hopefully i'll start getting some more vlogs up like i said we're doing a lot of um house updates so that's usually when you guys enjoy most of my vlogs definitely consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and i'll talk to you in my next one bye say bye capri See you, bye.